Bird diversity in India is remarkable. The Indian subcontinent is the home for more than 1,300 species of birds, which means one-tenth of all world species are here. Birds are identified as good indicators of environmental changes, including the global climate change. The latest scientific assessment has listed 189 species of birds in India as globally threatened. Recent attempts to evaluate the ecosystem services and economic value of birds sheds new light to the great roles they play in our life. Life of birds attracted humans from times immemorial. Birds are depicted in religious tradition, arts and culture as symbols of beauty and tranquility. Cave paintings, temple paintings, mural paintings and Mughal arts stand as proofs. Modern ornithology, the scientific study of birds, started in India by many enthusiastic British naturalists in the previous centuries. In the 19th century, prominent ornithologists such as Brian Hodgson, Edward Blyth, T.C. Jordan and A.O. Hume created a strong base to Indian ornithology. Dr. Salim Ali, the birdman of India, developed the field to the next higher level with his meticulous observations, rigorous and systematic documentation of bird life of this subcontinent. Dr. Salim Ali wrote 30 books including the monumental work of 10 volumes of Handbook of Birds of India and Pakistan which he co-authored with the American naturalist Dylan Ripley. His field guides on birds popularized ornithology and bird watching as a hobby in the Indian subcontinent. In 1990, the government of India established Salim Ali Center for Ornithology and Natural History, known as SACON, in honor of Dr. Salim Ali. SACON is a center for research and education under the Ministry of Environment, Forest and Climate Change, Government of India. The only of its kind working in the field of ornithology and natural history of birds in India. SACON has completed more than 350 projects in the last 30 years on research and conservation of birds, several of them leading to actual bird conservation in the field. Conservation of edible nest swiftlet in the Andaman and Nicobar Islands is one such project. A conservation action plan envisaged by SACON in collaboration with Andaman and Nicobar Forest Department recovered more than threefold of its population in just one decade. SACON worked on biology and conservation of several endemic and endangered bird species in the Western Ghats, Andaman and Nicobar Islands and many other parts of the country. Recently, SACON has prepared a conservation action plan for the critically endangered forest owlet, a bird species endemic to central India. Populations of many common birds are under severe threat due to the widespread landscape transformation. SACON has completed a nationwide study on common synanthropic birds to understand the current status of these species. SACON has conducted various conservation research programs on several mammal species too. At present, a team is working on human-animal conflict around Western Ghats. Declaration of Saramati Community Conservation Area in Nagaland was a prominent achievement of SACON. Presently, it is working on assessment of several community reserves in the state of Meghalaya. 
there are 514 important bird areas in India identified by BirdLife International. 55% of them are outside the protected areas. SACON has developed conservation plans for several of these IBAs. SACON has undertaken more than 60 environmental assessment studies to assess the impact of developmental schemes on the flora and fauna. Environmental contamination has captivated our attention after the sad story of the vulture population decline in India. National Centre for Avian Ecotoxicology in Sakon is well equipped to handle the challenges posed by the continued entry of newer chemicals into the environment. National Avian Forensics Laboratory, a state-of-the-art lab in Sakon has the infrastructure for bird body part analysis to facilitate Wildlife Crime Central Bureau, the Indian Air Force, Airports Authority of India and other law enforcement agencies in the country. SACOM is conducting research to support Indian Air Force and Airports Authority of India to mitigate the problem of bird hazards to aircrafts. SACON played a central role in developing India's first national atlas on inland wetlands that has enumerated all key freshwater wetlands of the country. SACON has also the latest GIS and remote sensing facilities to support its conservation research projects. Through its nature education activities in the last two decades, SACON has reached to more than 4 lakh children for creating conservation awareness in them. Flagship nature education programs are the wide variety of nature camps, Salim Ali Trophy competitions and Children's Ecology Congress. SACON conducts regular education extension programs for amateur wildlife enthusiasts and bird watchers and also capacity building training programs for field level forest officers. SACON's master's program MSc in Ornithology and Conservation Biology is working towards developing conservation professionals for the future of this country. Recently SACON has prepared a Visionary Perspective Plan VPP, for conservation of avian diversity, their ecosystems, habitats and landscapes in the country. All the major bird conservation issues are covered in the 15 programs visualized. Under each program, significant actions required and the suggestion of projects as generalized thrust areas are identified. After the approval of the Honourable Union Minister, this has become policy document of the Government of India regarding all matters related to conservation of birds and their ecosystems. VPP envisages conservation of birds in the country as an inclusive, participatory national movement a chance for all the stakeholders to work together and to achieve together for the conservation of Indian birds. The Ministry has entrusted SACON this massive responsibility to bring everyone together and work to succeed in our national goals of conservation and development of birds and their habitats. In the field of ornithology and natural history, SACON is marching forward in service of the nation to take up the inevitable challenges of conserving birds against the widespread changes in global climate and local ecosystems.